Hey guys, my name is Crazy Penguin, and welcome back to another class overview for Tribes of Sun. We're talking about the Infiltrator in this video. And you guessed it, the Infiltrator is best at infiltrating. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to be covering all of his different weapons and options, different loadout combinations, pros and cons, different playstyles, etc, etc. So let's get started. First weapon on the list is the Rhino SMG. And it's a really weird name for a gun, honestly. It has no properties that make me think of a rhino. <laughs> Maybe there's some other reason for it. It is a pretty decent weapon. Overall, it has a great rate of fire, has pretty decent damage, it's optimized for your class, meaning when you're in stealth and you fire this weapon, as soon as you stop firing, shortly after you'll return to stealth, which works really, really great with this class, obviously, because your whole niche is stealth. So the fact that it kind of synergizes with it means a lot. Overall, it's a pretty decent gun. It's a great default weapon. You can do a lot with it, but there are a couple of other options to look at. First of which would be the stealth spin fuser. Okay, just about every class has a spin fuser, and this one is not quite as great as some of the others as far as damage and statistics go but because it's also I guess optimized for stealth will be the the term that I'll use here it allows you to fire and then return to stealth a short period later you don't have to trigger on and off so long as you stop firing it's gonna return you to stealth overall I mean everybody should know how to use a spin fuser it's the bread and butter of tribes ascend you're just gonna have to get good at using it so next option is the Jackal, which came out in the very first patch for Treasure Sense since launch. And it is a really, really unique weapon. Holding down the trigger will fire three little projectiles. They stick to surfaces and enemies, and then pressing the trigger a second time will detonate them, or hitting the reload button. This is a really amazing weapon for several reasons. The fact that you can shoot all three clusters before anybody has a chance to react means that when you're infiltrating in stealth, you have really large burst potential. It's great against base assets, it's great for dueling because you can you know, destroy somebody in midair, you can detonate them early, they don't have to actually hit a surface. And the first secondary is the SN7 silenced pistol which isn't a hitscan weapon like most other pistols in the game. It has really good damage, a really large clip size, and a decent ammo count. The only learning curve is obviously you got to lead the target just a little bit. Overall though, it is a really great weapon for the infiltrator. It's great for picking off people at a distance, uh, finishing off enemies who are low on health. Overall, it's a great asset to the infiltrator class. And the second secondary is the throwing knives, which are a lot of fun. They have really great damage, and they're actually surprisingly easy to hit with once you get used to using them. They don't have any fall off, so they shoot in a straight line, and they're just fun. Uh, they're not nearly as reliable as a pistol, but they're great for chasing. The first equipment is the sticky grenades, and you'll see a lot of infiltrators running around with these. They're great for taking out radars, turrets, generators, anything with armor, base assets, etc. They're really, really great. They're great because when you're in stealth, they can be a great source of burst damage. And then the second option is the prism mine which I really wish I had unlocked, honestly. I haven't had a chance to really toy around with it, but I've been on the receiving end of it and it looks like a lot of fun. And then you have the smoke grenades. Using this will put you immediately into stealth and any damage done to you will not be indicated on the enemy screen, which is a great utility. Your only pack is the stealth pack, obviously. This is your class. This is the reason why you picked the infiltrator. This is why he's so great at infiltrating. Using it allows you to get into key areas without the enemy knowing that you're there. Uh, I have a clip here where these two sentinels had no idea I was coming. Or there's this juggernaut who's completely oblivious to me being here. He's just running around with low health. No concern in the world. Game over. That is the essence of the infiltrator class. Alright, so we covered all the different weapons and options. Let's talk a little bit about the class itself. The infiltrator is, I keep saying it, the best at infiltrating. And if you need somebody to get into the enemy's generator room, take it out without them knowing you're even there and then slipping out equally as efficiently then this is the class for you it's my personal least played class mostly because I suck at it <laughs> I I just haven't practiced enough being able to toggle stealth on and off and use that to my advantage with a low health pool is just not something I am good at however I am on the receiving end of these guys constantly because it's just a, a powerful powerful tool to be completely invisible you can sneak up on anybody and with the jackal or with a sticky grenade with a melee any number of things you can get a 
a massive lead and advantage in any duel because you ha you get to initiate. You get to fight on your terms on their side of the map, generally, if you choose to. So overall, it's a really great class. It has plenty of uses. The Jackal you can use to uh, stick some charges on your flag stand and, and be a really effective flag defense. Also, I see a really interesting tactic. <laughs> a really interesting tactic that I would like to try is putting on super heavy while in stealth and trying to body block enemies trying to come in for my flag. I think that would be really, really fun. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of ways to have fun in this game, and the Infiltrator is one of the most fun classes just because of the options he has. Overall, it's a really great class. There are a lot of reasons to play him and a lot of reasons to avoid playing him and a lot of ways to kill him and a lot of ways to die by him just like any other class in the game. If it sounds like it's for you, go for it, have some fun with it, give it a shot, try out some of the different weapons. As far as upgrades, I would suggest the Jackal, mostly because it is the best utility you'll have. It isn't the best in every scenario, but it's a great weapon. Other than that, upgrade your stealth. <laughs> That'll do it for this video, guys. If you like this kind of content, be sure to stick around, subscribe, like the video, and check us out at fpsgeneral.com. I'll see you next video, guys.